Hey guys, welcome back to Ross Garage. Hey, uh, uh, just a little bit of uh, informative here. Um, I'm working on my right here, my uh, '66 bus, and I'm doing a a straight axle swap. So, what does that mean for those that don't know? All right. So, if you notice, there's two transmissions right here, or transaxles. There is the one that just came out of the bus, and right here, this one I had for a while, and I was gonna, I was gonna shove it in my, uh, in my double cab, but I'm, I'm going uh, IRS on that one. So, so straight axle. You see the straight axle? So now, this, in order to change a transmission, a beetle transmission onto a bus, you have to get long axles. What does long, uh, long axle mean? Okay, here it is. All right, the distance from here to here is longer than the regular beetle uh, 65 and back. All right, let me get my tape measure here. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this right here is a long axle. Actually, this is a long axle, long shaft, or long spline, I would say. So a long axle. So what is long is this end right here. You see, this one is right at six inches from the end to the bearing uh, uh, carrier there, about six inches. All right, so let's go and see a regular 65 or 66 and back. I'm sorry, not 65. Uh, here it is. And this one is four inches, three quarter. So you got about inch and it inch and so longer on on the long axles. So that's what that means. So in order to it's because of the distance of the tire. If you put the short axles, your tire is gonna be inch and a half inward, so you will have to get a longer or a really thick spacer for your wheel to get where it's supposed to be so so people don't want to deal with spacers and stuff so they do the long axle so long axle so long shaft another thing that people talking about uh, asking me about is the uh ring gear well this is what happening in, in this uh boxes are here in the in the reduction boxes there's two gears here one here, one here. So, in order to this to spin forward, the transmission needs to spin backwards because it spins backwards this way and then this other gear spins forward. So you get a forward motion here. In order to make a regular bus transmission straight axles, you need to change the ring gear. Uh, the position of the ring gear. So the ring gear on the regular on the bus is going to be on the opposite side of the beetle because the beetle uh, spins forward. Uh, it doesn't have the reduction gears to spin it back. So so then you will have to open this open this case and put the ring gear on this side. You place it on here and ensure that all the well, the, the, the tolerance are good, and you should be straight to uh, continue on. Also, another thing that you have to do is this right here, your nose cone. So you have to change your nose cone from your bus transmission to your beetle transmission. And why is that? It's because of the position that it comes so, and then you have to, this is the hockey stick, this in the, right here, 
this is the hockey screen. That, that's what it makes the transmission shift on the inside. So let me drop the hockey stick right quick. There you go. That's the hockey stick. All right. So uh, if you see, you can, if you look, you can see the difference in between the two. You see right there. So the shaft will come out uh, further down about an inch lower than the beetle transmission. It's just the way transmissions are are set when they put them in different different uh, frames or chassis. Okay, so so very simple. This is this is very simple. But that's some stuff that you got to think about that you need to do before in order to change your transmission, your transaxle from from the gearboxes to the straight axle. You can also just change this it, transmissions are the same. So you can take the whole thing, the, the whole axle uh, gear uh, reduction boxes out and just put straight axles like this into that. This, there's no issues with that. You can still do that. You don't have to dispose of your transmission. Uh, uh, but you also have to think about, you know, gears. You have to figure out what gear is inside. You could be at 437, a 412. And uh, so the, it, it's, just, it's just what fits uh, or suits your, your, your demand. Okay, also you have to do the 12 volt uh, changeover if you're going 12 volt on your uh, bushing there. If you see, and you barely see it, but that one's really big, so that's 6 volt. And this, this one's smaller, that's 12 volt. And if you're changing a 12 volt, you have to grind your case on the inside because the 12 volt uh, flywheel is bigger. On the bus, actually, you have a, a bigger flywheel. You have a, a 200 uh, millimeter uh, on a six volt uh, uh, pressure plate. So you can still run your big pressure, uh, pressure plate or bigger. Instead of the 180, you can run the 200 with the bus uh, flywheel. But you have to run a six volt st starter. Not a, it can't run 12. So I will swap those two items the hockey stick and the uh, bus uh, cone to mine over here and that should be it but that is not all though because you still have you still have one more thing you got to think about when you're doing this changeover and it's this right here it's the distance in between your shaft mount right there you see it so this one is about, I don't know, roughly 18 and a half inches. And this one is 17 and a half inches. So you're missing an inch from this uh, transmission to the shaft. So meaning that when you come over here on your spring plates, the spring plates, it will not work. You will still have to change your spring plates to the modified one, of course, for the beetle axle. And also, it has to have here, I'm pointing it right, no, it's right here. You have to have an, a spacer, one inch spacer, that it will weld onto here, onto the face here, and it'll give that distance that you need to put your, your, uh, your swing axle. So, spring plates has to be changed. You cannot use this one unless you modify it. This is holding the, this is holding the tire anyway, so, so it has to be done the right way. A lot of people make them, Wagon West and all these people, but they charge you a lot of money for them. So you have to, you have to send your course because they don't make this anymore. There, there's some people that make them, but they're going to charge you. So you have to take them off of here, send them to, to the fab. Uh, Wagon West and all these guys, and uh, and they'll make them for you, and then they'll make here this. They put here the spacer, and then they'll put the the uh, mount for your for your beetle, because this is a three bolt pattern right here. 
one, two, and one in the back. And then also you have to lose the uh, this mount because it will not work with the with the geometry of the uh, of the bus. So this has got to be taken out. You don't need that. And then and then the uh, spring plate will have the mount for your shock. So hey guys, that's all I wanted to put out there because I know there's a lot of people that that want to you know know about this stuff and and there's really not a whole lot out there that tells you about this this things right here um uh, i think uh some of the websites have some of the uh some pictures and stuff like that but i think uh, also if you want to put a, a a newer transmission like this one a bigger transmission to a uh older a beetle like uh, this 57 right here you will also have to get a, a bus nose cone because the uh frame the pan comes out just the same so you need you need that distance a lower distance to fit it if not well, it will not fit so if you're changing a modern transmission on a uh uh early frame you will have to, you will have to get a a bus nose cone Hey guys, uh, that is all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, any concerns, any comments, uh, just uh, just uh, put it down on the on the comments. Also, subscribe to my to my page. Uh, just follow me and pay uh, and Facebook, uh, Ross VW Garage, and uh, I will appreciate it. Uh, just tell your friends, guys. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you later. Bye.